Welcome to Legislative 101, an introduction to exceptions to standing rules. Requesting an exception to a standing rule allows an NAI institution to seek an exception to an NAI rule or policy in extenuating or exceptional circumstances where an institution or individual is not able to comply with NAI rules. There are not enumerated minimum grounds that must be satisfied for an institution to request an exception. An institution may submit a request if it feels that the circumstances call for a departure from regulations established by the membership. An exception to a standing rule grants an institution a one-time exception to a rule. Granted exceptions are in no way precedent setting and are specific to each individual circumstance. Once an institution has decided to seek an exceptional ruling, the institution must create a packet of information to specify the situation. The institution then sends all necessary information to its conference eligibility chair. The eligibility chair will facilitate a review of the information by the conference's eligibility committee, culminating in a recommendation from the committee to approve or deny the request. The conference eligibility chair will then forward all information to the NAIA national office. The National Eligibility Committee will consider the requesting institution submitted information and the Conference Eligibility Committee's recommendation before reaching a final decision. A letter detailing the National Eligibility Committee's final decision is then sent to the President, Athletics Director, and Faculty Athletics Representative of the requesting institution. NAIA Legislative Services staff does not take part in the determination of a request but does facilitate the review, voting, and final letter of the National Eligibility Committee. The required items that are needed to process any request are the NAIA exception to a standing rule form and all transcripts for any students involved. Unofficial transcripts are perfectly acceptable. Other items that may be included are personal narratives by individuals involved such as student athlete, coach, athletic director, academic advisor, parent, etc. Also, any documentation that verifies the central details present in the request, like medical records of an injury, receipts, game statistics, newspaper articles, IEPs, and so forth. This is a broad process that can be applied to nearly any category of NAI legislation. Thus, particular requests determine what information will be necessary and relevant. Because the National Eligibility Committee will only have the submitted information to consider, it is an institution's goal to paint a clear and thorough picture of the circumstances and why an exception is warranted. Do you have any other questions on how to process a request to a standing rule? Please contact us on our hotline at 816-595-8180 or on our email at legislative at naia.org.